Hi, Junior. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, uh, LRC circuit. Okay, and I'll teach you how to derive the characteristic equation. Okay, so it's supposed to be character. Okay, so the main concept is, or the little shortcut, is that you're going to use the S uh, operator that this comes from Laplace. So if you have a capacitor, it's 1 divided by S times C. And if you have an inductor, it's S times L. Now the S, the, the Laplace operator is actually uh, 2 pi f and then the imaginary number i. Okay, so once you have that, what you can do is you can find the parallel impedance of, for example, r in parallel with the capacitor. And because you have the J operator, the J is a frequency domain, so it's actually, I it's a operator that actually gives the capacitance and impedance. So it acts like a resistor. So you're kind of working in the frequency domain to get the characteristic equation. So with that being said, you know that if you have two resistors that are in parallel, it's supposed to be R1 times R2 plus R1 plus R2. So, with that, let's say we're going to find out the parallel of R. It's supposed to be in parallel with 1 S C. Okay? So, with that being said, we can say that it R times 1 S times C divided by R plus 1 S times C. Okay, so you can go ahead and multiply this out, so you're going to get a R in the denominator, numerator, and you're going to have a S times C, and you should have a S times C, and it's going to be S times RC times C plus 1. So the denominators cancel out. So you get R divided by S RC plus 1. Okay. So we have the combination of these two. Is is actually this. Okay, so now we're gonna add the inductor and we basically do the same thing. Okay, let's see if I can uh, scroll up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing over. So now we have R, write the same equation. R times C plus 1. Now we're going to go ahead and multiply that times S times L. Okay, so now we have R, S, R, C plus 1 plus S times L. Okay, let's see how this works out. Let me see. So, we multiply at the top. We should have L S L times R. S R C plus 1. Okay, 
so we're going to find the common denominator. So it's S R C plus 1. So this means that you're going to have, let's see. Oh, okay, I'm going to flip over the S and the R. I'm going to put this up here. So you should have S L times S R C plus one plus I believe R. Okay. And right away we can see this cancels with that. And let me see. Looks like we have a uh S okay, got that. This should be a squared. Should be L R C plus S L plus R. Okay. So now we know that the impedance looking through the circuit okay it's supposed to be s l r s2 double r c plus s plus r okay so we still don't have the characteristic. Let's put it in the in the form that, that you usually see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this out or divide it. That cancels with that. That cancels with that. All of that cancels, so you're going to have a S L R K S squared plus S R C, and then you have one. I'll see. Okay. Here's your general equation. Okay. So, since you know what the impedance is, okay, let me go back up. So, you know that the impedance is zero here. If you put a current through here, you're going to develop a voltage. So by that, back up here, so you can come up with an equation that says V out is equal to I, whatever current is in your step, times Z out. Z out goes right there. Okay, I hope this helps out a little bit and hopefully we can develop uh, this a little bit more.